Hello again guys, well, as I promised you, I will give you the answers of the question previously assigned. The question number one was, what are some examples of insects? For this, let's do a small exercise. I will ask you, what is this? And you will answer, this is, and the name of the insect. If you don't know, don't worry, head to start. What is this? This is a Goliath beetle. If your answer is this, very good. Number two. What is this? This is um ant. If your answer was that, very, very good. Okay, let's continue. What is this? This is a cricket. Excellent. Next. What is this? This is a mosquito. Okay, nice job. The question number two was, what is the biggest insect all over the world? To answer this, we are going to include a top 5 with different insects. We are going to go through this top from 5 to 1, being the biggest the number 1. Also, what you will see in green is a common name, and in red is a scientific name. Let's see. Number 5. We have the Titan beetle, or Titanus gigantos. This insect is usually up to 16.7 centimeters. Number four. We can see the famous Hercules beetle or Dynastes Hercules. This insect is commonly seen in Japan and reaches the 17 centimeters. In the position number three, we have another beetle. This is the longhorn beetle or Macrodontia cervicornis. This beetle is up to 17.5 cm and can be seen in some parts of Asia. Number 2. The number 2 in this top is for the giant praying mantis or mantis religiosa. It reaches the 18 cm. The number one in this top is for a long insect found in Asia. Its name is Chang Megastic or Freganistria chinensisao. It reaches from 57 to 62.4 centimeters. The following question was, what are the characteristics of insects? Well, they have particular characteristics. The number one is, they have six legs. Remember, no four, no eight, not ten, only six. The number two is, they have two antennae. The number three is, they have bodies divided into three main sections, head, thorax, and abdomen. Of course, some parts that can be mentioned are wings, legs, and antennae. The number four is, some of them can fly, two, four, or no wings. And the last is, they have a presence of exoskeleton, a hard cover. Despite of the previous top, which is used currently and may vary according to different experts, in the prehistoric age, there were other species with amazing features. I want to show you the Meganeuroptis permiana. In the photo, you can see a model based on fossils found. This giant dragonfly was an extinct genus of griffinfly. It was known from the early Permian, about 299 and 272 million years ago. It lived 
in Kansas, North America, and its body length was around 60 centimeters. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your attention. See you next time.